Hello. Welcome to my video. And uh, here I'm going to show you the game between Richard Rappers and uh, Matthias Blubaum from Bundesliga in 2018. I will show you one very boring opening, which led to very, very dangerous consequences to Black. Oh, spoilers. Uh, sorry about that. Where was I? Okay, yeah. Both players are on fire because uh, Richard Rappert is qualified for the candidates and uh, Matthias Blubaum is in European Championship and he's leading after 8 rounds with 7 points. Uh, first we had uh, one e4 and Blubaum as always plays the French. He plays e6, Rappert plays d4 and now Blubaum plays d5. And uh, Rappert being Rappert, he goes for the exchange variation, which doesn't seem very challenging. Bluebound takes, and now knight f3 by Rapport, knight c6. Usually not something I, as a French player, uh, doesn't like to do. I, I usually want to put my bishop out and play c6, but this is also very legit. Uh, Rapport does the same, knight c3. Uh, black pins the knight with bishop b4. Now, Rapport is not afraid of ruining the pawn structure by bishop c3 bc, because in that case, white will probably get uh, the hanging pawns after c4. Let's say if you take on c3, this, not this, knight f6. Castles, castles. After c4, white gets a bishop pair and somewhat repaired pawn structure. So it's not really that good for, for black to do that. So he went for knight g7 instead, trying to connect his, uh, his knights and also to prepare bishop f5 in case, well, what happened in the game was not that, but uh, at some point maybe he wants to go with bishop f5, plus he doesn't want to go to f6 because bishop g5 could be quite unpleasant. After this, bishop g5 and black is in somewhat unpleasant position, nothing, nothing special of course, but if you can, you can put the knight on e7 and every bishop g5 can be met by f6. So he does that. Rapport finishes developing by castling, and now Bluebaum still delays the castle. He goes for bishop g4. He's being more ambitious. We'll see how that goes. We'll see how that goes. You know damn well how it goes. You know damn well. Now Rapport plays h3, and now bishop h5 by Bluebaum a3. And now it's a question, do you take on c3 and try to go for a castle or just go back? I think if you go back to a5, uh, that's a bit uh, too much. I think it's way too passive. I think uh, only two options are bishop c3, bc and to go for queen d7 and castle even queenside. Why not? Even in case of some a4, you can castle and... In case of a5 to go a6 or simply just well yeah just a6 and try to defend on b7 until white manages to regroup his pieces that's one option the second option was to just castle on the king side which would be also quite good but bluebaum plays a move bishop d6 threatening to capture on d4 next using this pin now rapport says okay i'm gonna go here rookie one Please capture my pawn. And what's gonna happen now? Why can't you castle first of all? Well, in that case, there is this uh, somewhat modified Greek gift after bishop h7, king h7, and now knight g5. Now the point is after king g6, there is g4. And the king is in very, very much trouble. In so much trouble right now because white is going to capture an h5 on the next move and the king doesn't have a good square to go and if you just go to h8 here you might just go back to d3 and give the pawn back like this but I think this is very very I think black has to be very careful here because of the lack of pawns on the king side and I think he's still slightly better but also, on the other hand, he's a bit vulnerable because of this uh, g4 adventure. It could be double-edged. Also, after king h8, you can go g4. And then to argue that after gh, the pressure along the g-file, the potential pressure on the g-file is much, much more dangerous than the weakness of these pawns on the king side. And by playing dynamically, you will compensate 
such problems as these pawns. And uh, the third thing, I, or the second thing, the second thing is after rook e1, white wants to simply capture on d5, and there's no time for a move like queen d7 because now you lose the pawn on d5. What can black do? Bluebaum chose here to capture on f3, which wasn't the best move. Uh, here, actually, we, we checked out uh, castling, we checked out knight d4, uh, but what's funny here is that king f8 is not such a bad move after all, because you get away from the pin, the d5 pawn is not uh, uh, the d5 pawn is not under pressure anymore. Heavy pieces are not connected very, very well, but I think uh, I think black covers everything very well. So this could be one option to go with, but black chose to take on f3 and now queen takes. Now attacking twice on d5 plus using the pin. And now black played principally and uh, he took on d4, but now rapper takes on d5. And now it's not very pleasant. What can black do here? He can pray, first of all, because now the king is in so much trouble. So much trouble. The first thing that comes to mind is castling. But now the issue is that b7 pawn hangs for nothing. Rook b8, queen e4 back, and it seems like black has uh, small to no compensation for the pawn. I would say no compensation. If anyone's better here, it's white. Black has these pawns, which can be used uh, later, and uh, I don't really see any counter chance for black to prove the compensation for the lost pawn. Bluebaum here chose to play c6 to kick this queen away, and uh, using small tactics, not allowing capturing because of bishop h2 and losing the queen. Oopsie. So, after this, Rapport plays queen h5, a very clever move, because it stops castling because of checkmate on h7, a slight issue which black has. So black tries to castle on the queen side, but even in that case you can't do it because f7 hangs. Now Rapport continues putting pressure and plays knight e4, and now what do you do if you castle? Like I said, you can take it on f7 immediately or just take on d6, take and take on f7 and once again, you don't have enough compensation as black. The knight is under attack and you have to be more passive. You go to g6, I go bishop f5. What do you actually do? If king f8, then there's bishop g6 with bishop f4 next. If you go, if you take, then queen takes, king b8, and now bishop g5. And again, there is no enough counterplay. You just play queen e4 and stabilize. Afterwards, you just... Occupy all the files, do some attack on the king on the queen side, and that's it. So castling both ways don't work because doesn't work. Knight f6. If you castle on the king side, then it's a checkmate in two. That's a bummer. So black tries somehow to make a blockade on the e, on the e file to make this rook less potent, and he goes to e6. And now, how does white continue this pressure? And the answer is with bishop h6, using this nice opportunity for the fork. So now the, the bishop is not uh, for free. And what do you do? Again, if you castle on the queen side, I can just simply take, take, and take on f7. These knights are sadly bad. Uh, white is a pawn up, at least, at the moment. And it's gonna be even worse. Uh, if he castles on the king side, that could be even worse. You take on d6. Uh, now if gh, that's just not gonna work out after queen takes. Knight g6, knight f5, and uh, lots of lots of threats. One of them is rook e4, rook h4. Uh, the second one can be maybe bishop c4, rook e6. But it's just uh, a horrible structure, which doesn't allow black to defend properly. The knight on e6 is paralyzed by defending against queen g7. Queen doesn't do plenty of things. I can just play slowly, rook a d1, then do some discovered attack, and uh, eventually capture on e6. But also be careful here, because if you go bishop c4, bishop e6, fe, and queen defends. So you have to be careful about that. Black doesn't castle anyway. He goes queen c7. 
trying to now threaten to take on h6, but now he's just ignoring this completely and attacking the knight on e6, which, which is left now undefended. What do you do here? Black is in so much trouble right now. If he castles now, now you take, and what next? What next, please? If you take with the g pawn, there is queen takes bishop h2 maybe, because if fe, then queen e6 and you lose the bishop. So let's give a check, maybe? But then king h1, and if fe6, then we have this problem. And even though white is uh, white gave up two pieces for a rook, he will have two pawns. And also because of the king's unfavorable position, it's going to be extremely dangerous to salvage this position. After queen takes on e6, rook goes to d1. It's just a complete mess for black. It's completely lost. It's uh, not remotely close to saving the game. So, Bluebaum is like, oh man, I'm gonna lose in less than 20 moves in French. Oh my god, what have I done? And he just uh, says to himself, okay, I'm gonna give a check. That's move 16 and let's, uh, let's try to prolong this game. After King H1, he went for Queen E5, but now the killer move, the final blow, Knight to G5. And now, all of a sudden, using this pin on the King... The knight is hopeless. The knight is just uh, going to be captured. And there's nothing to be done. The bishop hangs on h2. You cannot play a move like g6 because then I just take and after gh I can choose. I can take on h2, I can take on e6 first and then take on h2. But I can do this the simplest way. White is just a piece up so this doesn't work. Uh, knight g5, if you move the queen somewhere, anywhere, well, in that case, rook takes e6 is enough, and then the bishop also hangs. If you move it to c7, let's say, to keep defending this, this bishop, well, then you take on f7 as well. So it's a complete mess. So after knight g5, Bluebaum says enough is enough, and he resigned. He's going to lose at least a piece. Plus, f7 pawn is under so much pressure. And this is how a player can beat someone very quickly in French defense. And the reason why this happened is probably because Bluebaum was feeling more ambitious. The opening choice by Rapport appeared to be very, very smart because he forced Black in some way to play more ambitiously, but very often you cannot afford to do that. You cannot afford to play ambitiously in such a boring opening, let's say. After ED, ED, if you keep your king too long in the center, these things can happen. And it's a risk that Bluebaum took. And it didn't go so well. So uh, let me show you just... Uh, yeah, in this position, I think just castling should be fine. There's no bishop h7 sacrifice because the bishop is there on c8. And you can go back and just support with bishop f5. So there was no danger of that. I don't know why he felt uh, obliged to to play for a win here and to go for something adventurous like bishop g4. And after h3, bishop h5, a3, bishop d6. Yeah, maybe here. After bishop d6, uh, things become to turn. I think the last chance was to have a normal game was bishop c3, bc, and then to maybe even castle on the king side or... Well, maybe not because of the Greek gift in this case. Because of this, and uh, maybe g4 in the end. That could be a problem. But maybe just queen d7 for the time being, and then even castle on the queen side, with good chances to, to equalize. But yeah, I think uh, black was, like I said before, quite ambitious in this opening. Uh, I understand him, because as a French player, you always want uh, usually some fight and some imbalance. But in this case, you get some... Better version of the Petrov with black, but uh, I can understand the, the guy. So, yeah, this went very quickly because the king was in the center the whole time and uh, there were threats against this pawn, later on against the knight on e6, when the queen got to h5, so it was quite a game. I hope you enjoyed this quick game. If you have any questions about the game, just let me know in the comment section. I will, as always, answer. And uh, that's it. See you very soon and bye.